Okay, so, yeah, Being Robin, Being Robin, this is the new film um, from Roger Cabler, right, he wrote and directed it, um, yeah, there's not a whole load of information on IMBD, which is always very, very frustrating, uh, the film, you know, we can give you, like, the film stars Roger as well, along with Elena Rogers as uh, Elena, his girlfriend. Um, we've got Gary Miscelli as Josh. Um, there is Howie Bexky as Dr. Besky, all right, we've got Deborah Alessi as Madame Klasara, uh, Bill Kirchenbauer as himself, Jeremy Kennedy as an angry fan, Diane Alexis Walcott as Celia Birch, there is... Um, Yvonne Finity as Nanny Yvonne. We got Dave. Uh, ooh, everything went a little bit. Um, who we got? We got Dave Wahers as a crazy fan. Yeah, that's probably our main lot of people, right? The gist of the film is this. A man believes he is visited by the spirit of Robin Williams. Whether he is truly at the centre of spiritual events or he is delusional. He mounts an his, hysterical and touching stage tribute to Robin, which becomes a hit around America. No actual images or vocals of Robin Williams were used in the film and it's based on true events, right, now we say based on true events, because, right, we do have live, you know, actual footage of the, 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 you know, the shows that were put on, and then other bits are reenactments, right, of what happened, supposedly, so, yeah, it is, it's super interesting with something like this, right? Because it's, it's someone saying that they were possessed by, they were visited by, you know, Robin Williams, which I think all of that would depend on how do you see these things? You know what I mean? I, I think that's a big part of this. Like, how you relate to this uh, piece of work is probably around what is your viewpoint on reincarnate, re, uh, reincarnate, re, reincarnatement, re... Boy, <laughs> I can't think of how to pronounce the word. You know what I'm talking about, people, right? It, it's about that, you know? And, you know, ghosts and spirits and all of this. And we start off with, you know, views of the lake and everything and, um, you know, a clairvoyant talking, right? And then some people saying how they believe and others saying, no, they don't believe. So I think, you know, Roger's getting in front of it all, right? The elephant in the room, right? We have these psychologists talking. So we have all of this stuff, right? And, you know, we, we so often Roger talks about his life, right? The fact that he was pretty innocuous as a child, he felt, right? And, you know, always wanted to be a star. So he's, he, you know, he started acting, he started stand-up. 
doing impressions. Impressions were his thing. Um, so we have all of this, and he, he used to do the impression of Robin Williams, you know, when Robin was alive. And supposedly Robin saw his act and really liked it, right? But then he talks about how he had a meltdown on stage, right? Had a meltdown, and so he retreated, became a painter, you know, an artist. He'd always dabbled in art, but now he threw himself in, and then he meets Elena, right? And his life completely changes, completely changes. And he does discover that he's got bipolar, Right, which is another big part of this, you know. So, when Robin Williams dies, you know, a load of people were affected. You know, he touched a load of people's lives, right? Rogers as part, and that's when this whole thing kind of starts. So, it's like, is it the bipolar, right? Is it grief, is he really visited, you know, there's, I think, the thing being, you, you do ponder, like, why, right, why, now, he, he says, because, you know, Robin had unfinished business, right, had unfinished business, wanted to go out in a certain way, but then the question is, why does he choose, um, why, why does he choose Robin to, um, Roger to do it, you know what I mean, like, out of all the people, why, why him, so you have that, and that's not really answered, right, supposedly the clairvoyant is a hoax, we don't really find out how they discover the clairvoyant is a hoax, there's, there's, there's a lot, right, like, has he spoken to Robin Williams' family, what do they think about this, because that must be very difficult on them, you know, they, you know, lost the husband, lost the father, and then someone that is there saying they've got the spirit of Robin Williams in them, because if he was going to go to anyone, wouldn't he go to his family, right, relatives, rather than someone he doesn't know, right, none of these things are really explored, but we do get this um, unfolding of events, right, Th this whole thing, you know, Roger talking about how he tried to avoid um, you know, stand up and fame and Hollywood for a while because he didn't, you know, he became an alcoholic, he got addicted to drugs and all of this kind of thing. So he didn't want to go down because someone had told him if he stayed, he would die. Which, again, it, it, it's something that isn't necessarily explored because it's kind of like, okay, why? You know what I mean? That, like, there's coping mechanisms, there's things to put in place, there's blah, blah, blah. So how, you know, why not try those, did you try those, we don't know, but it's just this whole thing, now, he says when he first met Elena, like, she's very spiritual, hippie-ish, and all of this, so, you could, but knowing that, you can kind of see why she might kind of not fully address this, right, kind of go with it, all of that, because it does seem there is a level of enablement with people, but to what a event, it's hard to tell because we do, these are reenactments, right, these aren't what actually happened, the real conversations and all of that, because they may have been slightly different to what we see here. You know, but, yeah, because you've got this footage of him doing interviews, right? Doing interviews and everything like that. Because there's a lot of the people, you know, 
of these TV shows and radio shows where he goes on. And I'm like, it really felt like I was talking to Robin. And it's just like, have you spoken to Robin? You know, because a lot of what we see, it's, it, it kind of seems like a caricature of performances Williams had done. You know, because you think about, like, you, there's a lot of comedians, and you might see them at the start of their career, and you see them as they get older and older and older. There's an evolution, right? They're not doing the material that they started out doing. Everything has changed, right? It's refined. It's like there's people that are very energetic on stage, and that calms down a little bit because you're older you can't do that you know as much and you're looking for different ways to tell stories but there isn't necessarily an evolution here it's just the same old same old which again makes you kind of like is this legit what is this you know, it is an exploration into mental health. And that is always an interesting thing, right? It's always an interesting thing to see how people navigate, right? You, you have him go to the psychiatrist, ignore those recommendations, right? Ignore what other people are saying, and it's that we do see like this downward spiral. I, I, I do think it's very brave and courageous to put this all out there. You know, to air out everything. Let people see what transpires. There's to say that you are inhabited by someone is, yeah, that's an interesting thing. Like there was... A, an illusion, um, it's alluded to that he, you know, as Robin becomes intimate with Alana. And again, that is a little bit questionable as, you know, Robin had a family. I totally in love. So why would you then with someone else? You know what I mean? There's, there's, there's things here which are questionable, right? Clothing. Again, there's no evolution. It's just wearing the same old, same old stuff. And we could see an evolution in Robin from those early days to his other stuff. Because I don't know if he was still doing stand-up. It looked like he was concentrating on film work and going to darker roles, more dramas than the comedy that he was doing early on. So I don't know if this fully explains what happens. And again, I think for anyone watching to really gravitate with this it depending on your um interpretation of the afterlife of what might come you know when people die do you can you come back is there reincarnation right can people inhabit other people that's the big thing you know uh if you don't believe in any of that, it is something to look at from a mental health point of view, a psychological point of view, to see what could happen to someone, right, with bipolar, who, um, again, he was off his medication, right? So we do have all of this. We do have all of this. So it is a curious piece. 
And depending on, you know what I mean, what you believe, I think you can watch it in uh, a few different ways, right? You can watch it in a few different ways. We don't really have a clear, definitive ending on, you know what I mean, this happened, right? This is how everything was resolved, but, uh, yeah, being Robin, it's not your typical piece. It's not your typical piece, people. Um, I believe it will be available on the 5th of November, right, on VODs. I'm not sure if that's internationally or if it's just stateside, but uh, all the information will be on the website, right, so, um, yes, being Robin,